seems no matter where I go around the world, as soon as I get off stage, people come up and ask, what does it truly take to become wealthy, to become prosperous in today's economic times? And more importantly, is there a blueprint that would work for me? And the answer is absolutely yes. Having the opportunity to sit down with some of the greatest minds of our generation, from government officials to movie stars, from sports icons to motivational giants, I sat down and picked their brain and I said, look, I want to know for myself so I can start applying these powerful teachings. If I want to be wealthy in my own existence, what's the first thing I should do? And then what are the exact steps, the phone number for success? You might think, phone number for what? Well, it works like this. After this interview, and I asked you, so would you do me a favor personally and call me on my cell phone so you and I can have a conversation? You might say, sure. I said, great. Well, here's my phone number. Uh, it's between one and zero. <laughs> What's the chance of getting through? Not very good. But if I actually gave you the sequence of my cell phone, well, obviously you'd dial it in and it'd ring right to me. And if you pass that number to someone else, they'd ring me as well. Now I want to know, is there a phone number, a blueprint for wealth and achievement? And I'm going to share it with you right now. Here's what it is. The first thing we have to have to have anything in our lives that is sustainable for wealth and prosperity, it comes down to confidence. That's true. Fact is, if you don't believe that you deserve prosperity, chances are you'll never have it. And once you do attain it, we'll let it slip right through our fingers. That's why when you Google you know, lottery winners that lost their money in three years, there are so many. That's why these sports people that get these giant contracts as soon as their season's over, all of a sudden they end up on the other side of the tracks. Well, see, they weren't conditioned. They didn't have the confidence that they truly deserve prosperity in their life. So until we can work on that confidence factor, everything else doesn't make a difference. But for those who do say, oh yeah, I'm ready, put me in coach, it's my time to shine. Well, then we gotta do something called having a plan. You know, we have to have a crystal clear picture, a goal of what it is that we desire. Because if we don't know what prosperity or wealth looks like, then how do we know we're hitting it? The same way as an archery guy hitting a bow and arrow into the air saying, I'm doing great. <laughs> no, you gotta give yourself a target. Because then all of a sudden you'll know if you're dialed in or not. It's called a goal. And once you have that goal, we gotta create a strategy an action plan to actually come to fruition because you know what if we don't have some type of blueprint to follow we'll end up just being lost and here's an important factor of that everything's subject to change so that strategy understand may adjust as you go forward then we got to do something very powerful you got to take action look you can have the greatest strategy you have the big goals you can have the big plans you can have confidence but if you're not willing to get off your backside and do what it takes pay your dues to move forward we're really not gonna have wealth and prosperity in our life. But once we are willing to do all those things, well, here's the important one. We gotta duplicate ourselves. We can only do so much. The most wealthy and prosperous people on this planet understand that there's a big difference between working your strengths and hiring your weaknesses. I'm gonna say it again. Wealthy people understand the power of working their strengths and hiring their weaknesses. It's about duplicating themselves so that they can grow ex exponentially. And then we have to focus on residual. That's why you're here right now. ILA is a great organization because they understand the power of a residual opportunity. If we don't set ourselves up for doing something once and getting paid for it over and over, that's what the wealthiest people on the planet have done for themselves. And then ultimately the last thing, to get what we want, help others get what they want first because that is the true definition of success you know when it comes down to this residual thing because that's what I want to touch on I just gave you the phone number but I really want to harp on that because residual opportunity is one of the greatest gifts that the United States has to offer that other countries around the world are begging for and it's right here at your disposal I teach people the simplest way to understand this is think of it as like a bubblegum machine. <laughs> you see, I love gum. Everywhere I go, I'm chewing it, eating mints, whatever. I kind of like it. So for the sake of argument, let's pretend that I'm going to give you $1,000 cash, okay? Now, for the sake of argument, let's also say we want a brand new sofa for our living room. What do you think 90% of Americans are going to do? Yeah, they're going to go buy a sofa for $1,500 and go $500 in debt. 
The top 9% will buy a sofa for a thousand bucks or less and live debt free. But the millionaires, they do something different. They understand residual. For myself, since I like gum, I'm gonna go buy a bubble gum machine. And you know those big red tall ones you see at the mall? They cost $750. I'll take the other $250 left over from my thousand and buy bubble gum in bulk for just one penny each. I'll fill that machine full and put it at the mall. Kids will come by and put how much in there? That's right, 25 cents. For a bubble gum that cost me how much? Only a penny. They trade me a quarter for a penny, quarter for a penny. In about a year or so, I'll make well over $1,000 in pure profit. I'll go buy that sofa, be debt free. But the millionaires understand the simple technique, the simple understanding that they still got a machine that's continuing making them money month after month after month. It's all about residual. It's about setting yourself up for this courage to succeed. And that's the courage to get started. And once you do, the courage to not quit. You got something great inside you. Keep going. And whatever you do, find that stickability. Never throw in the towel. You truly are just three feet from gold.